Hey guys, name's Fen. Guess what? This game crashes on load through absolutely no fault of my own. <laughs> Gonna have to start saving two copies, playing some Seven Shades of Mercury with a the at the beginning. And it's a good thing I start here because I missed this really blatantly obvious piece of loot there. And uh, if this was Resident Evil 4, I could jump through the window. But why would you ever think that this was Resident Evil 4? I mean, come on. It's a completely different game. There's no... There's no zombies, but rather there's just... Well, there is zombies in this game. Therefore, it's totally like Resident Evil 4. God! Anyway, I guess I've just been in here, but I can sort of snatch this stuff. And for some reason, I like to read books, even if they have no effective uh, effect on objectives, because it's just sort of what I like to do. And that's a right-side-up hammer, as you can see, whereas uh, it's an upside-down one by the door. It's kind of like, uh, what? But, uh, well, anyways. Now, I guess these are... Oh, wait, there is another guy up here. What? What? He must go through a door to never wear. Strange, free, and wild. Oh, he what? He what? Whoa, I thought that was a solid wall for a minute. And that he walked through it like that one ghost. But no, this is the second VIP room. And it's not a marble floor at all. I guess I'm probably safe here. But I'll just turn off the light. <coughs> <clears throat> Just in case. Dear Brother Bugile, I write to thee again about Brother Poen, whose behavior has gone too far and is not befitting of a comrade in the Builder's family, to regale thee with a brief anecdote about how my current situation came to pass. I was at a seminar with Brother Poen some weeks ago when he did call my attention to a passage from the Hammer Book of Tenets which read, The Builder's children must be chiseled as stone without need for pleasure or warmth, so that they may take their place as mighty pillars in the Builder's temple. Brother Poen considered that we should forego the pleasures of this world so that we might better praise the Builder. I congratulated him on his proper interpretation of the text and told him and told to him the story of our beloved Father Brefo, who rests now in the graveyard beside this, this building. The Father did take it upon himself to suffer for the Builder's glory, drinking only tea that was stone-cold to the touch, tying heavy hammers around his weary ankles, and eating his most hated garlic every morning, so that the taste would haunt his breath throughout the day. Indeed, he did pass away in what is now the room reserved for very important people, lying upon a deathbed of coldest stone. Brother Poen listened in wonder to this tale and declared that he himself should make such sacrifices for the Builder. He promptly made us two stone-cold mugs of tea, which I drank in good spirits. However, since then his behavior has become increasingly erratic. He hath publicly attempted to wrestle hot mugs of tea from my hands and arriveth every morning at my door with identical pairs of heavy hammers that our ankles may thus be burdened for the rest of the day. I hath only managed to escape this misery at breakfast as I quite enjoy the taste of garlic. Whilst I cannot blame him for his enthusiasm, I feel that all personal matters should be kept to the person's own conscience. I pray thee do settle this matter with Brother Poen, or I shall surely be sleeping on a bed of hot nails before this year is at its end. Builder keep thee, Brother Caesar. <laughs> And there is the parody of taking religious texts seriously, and, um, I mean, lit, sorry. I didn't mean, I meant literally. My apologies. <laughs> Although, some people might consider that just as insulting, but oh well. Uh, oh, it's a whole other hallway. <coughs> it's a... It, yeah, hmm. But I don't know what that is or if I've been there, but I think this is. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> that was a weird reaction. <gasps> wow. So I, I guess that guy sort of loops around, so I guess this sort of loops around that way. Guess? Yeah. Okay. This door does not have a label. It's an unlabeled door because it's a bathroom. And we can't label bathrooms because they're disgusting, filthy places wherein you have to get rid of the fluids in your body that are not of, uh, that are not wishing to praise the builder. That's why you have to excrete them all the time. Magister's office. Because, uh, yeah, because, yeah. On the other hand, this mission makes fun of religion all the time in a much more direct way than thief games and so me playing it and laughing at it is gonna make me so so uh not liked by some possibly I don't know 
build a curse on anyone who reads my diary, for it is only for mine own eyes and his. I become increasingly concerned with Master Forger Idwell's interpretation of the texts. Do not the words, the truth is in the Builder only, question not his schemes, mean that we should remain unknowing of the Builder's plan only, and work to better ourselves as sim the simple instructions found in the Book of the Nail doth specify? But Master Forger Idwell doth seem to interpret the text to set himself above all others as part of the Builder's scheme, and allows none to question his motivations even when they seem to go contrary to the holy books themselves. Yet I see that his congregation is full, and I am heartened by it. These acolytes oft stay in bed past, far past the breaking of dawn. It is better to serve the Builder erroneously than to not serve him at all. I must not begrudge the methods of my betters, for I have no say in them. I must simply pray that the Builder guides their actions. I grew afraid of the room I reserved for very important people on the second floor. Oft I have been given the task of cleaning this place, and even though none have used it, I have found it disturbed on many occasions, the sheets of the bed still warm as if a sleeping body did lie there. Stranger still, when I pour myself a warm cup of tea in that room and bring it to my lips, I find it to be as cold as stone. Mayhap I shall call upon one of my elders to help dispel the wicked spirit from the room, as it doth linger like early mist and hath a faint smell of garlic, strangely. Well, I've been in that room and I didn't notice anything amiss, but then again, these engines are not exactly uh, sensation simulators, but rather just simply audiovisual extravaganzas. Maybe I'll go back in there later and find if there's something else. Security? Well, 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 what have we here? Turning off some cameras that proclaim to exist but actually don't because they haven't been invented yet? Although there was that one weird cucumber-looking thing in, uh, in, uh, you know, Craig's Glyph that sort of spins around and stuff, but, uh... I, I don't know what that did. It seemed to turn off some lights, which is not necessarily to do with security, and it didn't turn off these for some reason. Master... Deravery's office? I thought it said Daredevil's office, but uh, of course not. Wow. It's it's a, a globe thing. It's, it's insanity. The world is in fact round here, people, and it's just been discovered by Brother Pontatifus Ponderous and Father Bangor's office. Didn't I find some office by the sky already? Maybe I just heard him named. I don't know. <clears throat> Bangor. I'll bet I know what he does in his office. I'll bet I know what this room really is and why it's locked. Eh? Uh? Uh? Anyways, never mind. No, it's really just a tiny office. Or so it seems. Father Bangor, I have reviewed the opening of thy sermon and do think thou treadest the wrong path. St. Morgan was a man of war, and such an event as his holy day should be used to promote lust for victory and the clashing of many hammers. The Builder is compassionate, yes, but this is a sermon for a spring day in a land of peace, not our finest academy. I do fear that thou art becoming blunt in thine old age. Delete the final sentence and continue from the point of, for the Builder is indeed terrible and we must harness that terror that we may strike fear into the hearts of our enemies. I shall review the rest of thy sermon when thou art finished, Master Forger Eidwall. <laughs> you see? They're just like, oh, we gotta use this. Hey, it, there, there's a little switch. There. Oh, ho, 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 ho! Oh, ho, ho! It's the room where naughty things happen. Oh, no. Yeah, they're just like, let's use the builder to random political benefit. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. What? Their icon is a crown? And it's Theodicium. Uh, well, 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 what have we here? What does this do? Uh. Hmm. No? Hmm. Can't seem to make it go off, but, uh. Oh. Here are the Theodicium mines, as per our agreement. I'm sorry, but these were very expensive, so sadly I cannot provide you with more. These will aid your team against the silvers, as I've... Ah, as I found out that they're wearing heavy metal armor that makes them impervious to gas and ordinary knockout attacks. Instructions on the use of the Theodicium mines. Place Theodicium mine on the floor. The mine's field magnetizes it to the ground. You won't be able to pick it up again, so think well before putting each one down. Insert the power node. 
theodicy of mind trigger. Anyone wearing heavy metal armor within a distance of six elbows will be instantly fried and knocked out by a powerful electrical discharge. Does it make noise? Though? Yes, that's right. Six elbows distance is very short, but these are just prototypes, so you'll have to get pretty close to each silver acolyte to activate the theodicy of minds on them. Warning, do not touch anything with the power nodes, theodicy of mind triggers, as it will instantly disrupt their delicate systems and they will be wasted. What's the power node and where do I get it? <clears throat> Essentially, the mines use the magnetic field of the Earth itself for their discharge. Oh yeah, Nikola Tesla. That is why they must be perfectly still on the ground when activated. Imagine in the future, massive cities might be powered by this great technology. Or even better, huge armies of armored enemies will be fried in one explosive blast. Praise the Builder! Laz. Well, maybe I got the little... little node thing along with the things when I got them. Oh yeah, there we go. Nine of those. Shivan's gear. Oh, that's my gear and stuff. And nine of those. Okay. This is cool, you know? This is really cool. It's not just some simple weapon where you could just run around knocking them out. It's a strategic thing where you have to... Oh, yeah. This guy might come walking through. Where you have to, like, choose who to knock out. Master's library. Alright. Hmm. An unlawful man treats a feast like a breadcrumb only to see his for An unlawful man treats a feast like a breadcrumb only to see his fortune crumble, for he doth not labor long at it. The builder taught us how to toil, receive, and savor the crumb, and treat it as a feast. Praise the builder for his divine knowledge that doth give strength to our legions. Tome two Verse 14, Michelini, Imperial Headmaster of Master Architect Alexius. Yes, wow, there's another switch. Oh, it's a light switch on a desk. That's crazy. It's like a small switch that doesn't open a secret door. I think this might be against some kind of law. I don't know, just, just sort of say it. A flaw in the gear will fade it to shatter. A flaw in the be beam harbors the termite. A flaw in a man's righteousness encompasseth his death. A flaw in the balance of power bringeth war. A flaw in mankind's unity will shatter the world. Prophecies of the Dead Man, Volume 3, Passage 1. I think part of this became part of that one hammer book, but not all of it or something. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know, man. Restricted secure library. Well, it's you can tell it's restricted because the door is completely unlocked and very easily accessible. And the builder saith, Live not in dens like the animals of the wild. Thou art not an animal. Lift up thine head and walk proudly amongst the beasts of the forest. Hearken unto me. I give thee the holy hammer and the holy chisel. Thou shalt tame the trees and stones to do thy bidding in all things. To walk upon the water, shelter thee from the rain and wind and cold of winter. Mould the course of rivers and bringeth change to the face of the earth, that thou shalt be master of all. This, my children, I give with my blessing. Raise up from the dust and dirt of thy shame and follow my guidance in all things. Raise towers to my greatness and shape the face of the earth to my liking. Bless the hammer and chisel, for they are the map to thy destiny. Respect the stone and wood, and offer them unto them the same reverence thou givest me. Use not the rotten stone or decayed wood, but in thy building remove from them these defects, however small, that they may serve thee and me. Go, my children, and fail not in thy endeavors, nor in thy hearts. Mine eyes shall see all. Let not my teachings fall upon deaf ears. For thou shalt surely perish from the earth in the release of my wrath, be thou not faithful, and hearken unto me. The Divine Word of the Master Builder, Tome 4, Volume 1. I like the Master Builder. He's a friendly dude. Yep, 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 indeed, yep, indeed, yep, indeed. As long as you don't piss him off by doing something completely random. A crumpled pamphlet? The angels of the Master Builder want you. We are... Oh, sorry. That's not the same text. The angels of the Master Builder want you. We are...
pro-life. Every year, thousands of undead are massacred by holy water and their souls banished by exorcism. We demand a stop to this callous brutality. Now! Our undead brethren have shown themselves more than capable of carrying out such simple tasks as waiting tables, being tables, and retrieving unexploded munitions. We, the angels of the Master Builder, AMB, call on Master Forger Ipsid Alune, secretary for the redeadening of the undead, to answer our cause, because another way of saying undead is alive. We are anti-severing. Recently, a law has been passed by the Emperor allowing the severing of limbs that would previously have been scalded. Severing part of a prisoner's body means he will not be able to get a job and he will become a beggar. It is obvious that crime is at its highest within the poorer classes. Severing creates repeated offenders. Bring back scalding now! <laughs> Dear Father Bango, it hath recently come, recently come to mine attention that a dangerous underground sect hath formed in the Excantinum Academy of Talia, under my very nose. These children of heathens do call themselves the angels of the Master Builder, and delighteth in subverting our teachings with their vile propaganda. As repugnant as the idea seemeth, the only possibility is that the students themselves are behind this loathsome movement. Their minds are yet in a dangerous phase, both clever and calculating as adults, yet idealistic as children. They knoweth nothing of the trials of age, the responsibilities, and hath not yet come to understand that, that tis the Builder's infinite wrath that keepeth this world in order. We must be the tools that forgeth these young men in the Builder's desired image. Tis of vital import that this insidious spreading of peace and mercy... <laughs> throughout our academy be brought to an end at once. Tis now thy duty to track down the members of this pernicious sect. The price for possessing one of these pamphlets shall be scalding. Any person found to be handing out any brochures, instructions, posters, and so on will have that offending hand removed. Allow not this plague to reach beyond the academy walls. I know I canst count on thee, father. Let me not down. May the builder keep thee, Master Forger Idwall. <laughs> Whoever wrote this is my goddamn hero. Thou dost make thyself strong, not by winning easy battles. Well, you do in MMORPGs. Oh, but by forging thyself anew in the fires of a great crusade against heretics who doth oppose the divine law of the Master Builder. Let not thy spirit fail, Legionnaire, for the time of glory is near. Tome 2, verse 27, Michelini, Imperial Headmaster of Master Architect Alexius. <laughs> yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Very good, very nice. Where's that guy? Came through this door. I can hear him. Let's camp out near the inverted hammer and wait for our duel. It's a cool tree. It's got snow on it, you know. Snow falls on trees. Trunk sort of end abruptly at the top. What's that? Hey, he's singing that song now. Man, this guy's hella charismatic. This voice, I just love it. I don't, yeah, this is a scroll. Hmm. We sure pulled a fast one on those white team morons, didn't we? Jumping them while they were infiltrating and grabbing their team icon was a breeze. We've got it locked up and tucked away in the restricted secure library. Oh. However, our struggle is far from over. Purple still has the library and Blue is looking for trouble in the basement areas. At least Red seems to be content to remain on the defensive for the moment. Perhaps because they know the silver and black teams are backing them. After Blue and Purple have been crushed, we'll plan our next move. Also, thanks to Father Bangor, our relic is safe from theft. It looks like his office hosts more than just nice frescoes. Trans. Okay. <clears throat> Which the gold team got when they ambushed you? Wait. You say our icon is in the restricted library? This calls for searching at some more. Yeah, so anyway, there's one switch on the desk that turns off the lights, but uh, there's probably another switch somewhere that opens up. Wait, wait. Ah, it's probably there in a tiny box, which it probably couldn't fit in. He did say it was locked up, so... Oh, yeah, lockpicks, because we're sneaky bastards who are thieves, so maybe we're not like the good, good, goody, goody team. What's the... Oh, that's an alarm, huh? Sure is. Sure is. 
continuing on the second floor. I guess this is a room. Is it more VIP rooms? It doesn't even say. But it's a very restricted area because it's upside down hammer. There's one piece of loot and God knows losing that will cause the destruction of every plan in the known a universe. Uh... Well, that'll be all for today. See you guys tomorrow.